Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. It is a dreary Monday here at Lumber Capital Log Yard, and we've been running the mill all morning. Surprise, surprise, I know, right? But today I did want to go over with you guys how to coil a blade so that you can turn this into something a little bit more portable like this. Without further ado, let's get into it. One thing that I was just not expecting with this upgrade was the difference in diameter between the wheels on the 40 and the wheels on this new mill. So the wheels on our previous mill were 18 inches in diameter. These ones are 24, so a big difference there. And I don't know if you guys can really tell on camera how much bigger these are, but they definitely look bigger in person here. So what does that really mean? Well, it means one thing, and that is that we have to run a much larger blade. The difference between these blades and the ones that we used to run, big difference there as well. They're a lot larger, thicker, bigger around, just all around a much more aggressive blade, which is part of the reason why I can cut like a freaking bat out of hell. Um, but anyhow, that comes with its own set of complications. Not really many, just in transporting them um, to our resharpening station and back to the log yard. It's, it's a hassle because they used to fit in the back of our truck open like they like a normal one is but now we have to coil them up in order to get them back to the house because they just take up that much more room and so i had to learn how to coil and this can be tricky when you first start out but once you get the hang of it it's no big deal so i'm here to give you guys a few tips on how to do that so that you can get it without just having to try over and over and over again and come up with your own ways to do it just I have a few tips and tricks. I can walk you through it real simple so that you can get it um, just quicker than you would without it. So that's what I'm going to do. I have a few blades to coil up here and uh, you can watch me and we'll do a few in slow motion. How about that? That'll be pretty neat. Um, here's an already coiled up one. And so that's what we're trying to do. Some of you probably never thought you'd hear me say this, but I do think it's a good idea to put on a pair of gloves while you're trying this, at least while you're learning, because you're gonna be grabbing the blade with your hands and you're just asking for something to happen. So just a little bit of protection is probably a good idea. You're gonna put your thumbs in between the teeth here, kind of as wide as you can. Um, you could probably go a little wider there. And then you're gonna press it up against your body like this with the teeth up. And then you're gonna swing it down. And you're gonna catch it with your foot just like that. That's perfect. And then you're gonna bring your hands in and it's gonna cross. And then look, we already did it. Boom. You have your coil. All right, let's try it again with this blade. Catch it with your foot. Cross it, did it on the first try. Man, I'm getting better at that. There we go. So the key with this is just to get that first motion down because once you get that, it will just continue to want to go in that uh, direction and it'll just kind of finish coiling up kind of on its own. You'll understand what I mean when you try it. So as soon as you get that first motion down, it's easy peasy. But one thing is just to be careful because obviously these are sharp. I'm only handling the dull ones that are coming off after they've been run and they're a lot easier than the new sharp ones. Those things are whew, coming out of the box. Those things are razor sharp. These, not so much. Um, anyhow, what else? Oh, a lot of people were asking whether we can use the same 
uh, sharpening equipment on these new blades? And the answer is yes. I will be doing videos of that in the future of Grandpa resharpening these new blades because I'm sure there's some resetting that had to be done on it. These are quite larger. I don't really know everything he had to do, but we'll find out in that video. Well, I hope that that helped you figure out how to coil up your blades. Once you get it down, it's like riding a bike. You won't forget and it gets a lot easier. But initially, if you don't have that first motion down, it can be tricky. So hopefully that helped. If it did, don't forget to like this video. Other than that, I think that we're gonna get back to running the mill. What do you say? I wanna see this cut a few logs. All right, let's go. Ah, railroad ties in the morning, red oak floors in the afternoon. We can just jump from one thing to another because we get so much done with this really fast mill. Anyways, I think that that wraps it up for today's video. Before you leave, make sure to check out our merch site at lumbercapital.shop. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. We have a bunch of cool merchandise like this beanie here, as well as some Carhartt stuff, which is some of my personal favorites. I just had one of my jackets on this morning while it was raining. It keeps me pretty dry. I'm happy with it. Well, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Also, ring that notifications bell so you don't miss another episode. But other than that, we'll see you back here next time. Bye.